Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to another series of your story and what's to come. I hope you guys are doing well out there, Gemini. So, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and find out uh, all that we can about your story, and then we'll get some advice and also a sneak peek at what's to come, okay? I do feel a lot of you Geminis are at a place of um, expecting something, or some of you guys, you know that you've reached a level in your life that... Um, you know, that there's some, some type of deserving or earned rewards or respect for some of you guys. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Talking about respect, I mean, we've got the King of Pentacles here. So Gemini, we've got power, we've got wealth, and we've got this energy about ruthless, right? So maybe for some of you Geminis, there's, there's a real significance with you, um, you know, having things really be organized or worked out, you know, working out well for you. Now, there could be a masculine energy that is at play here too, uh, Gemini. So, um, you know, there could be an, a, some type of importance when it comes to uh, a soulmate, maybe business partnership, or perhaps a family member or someone close to you. But in general, I am getting this thing about you, Gemini, um, having things like going in your favor, or some of you guys, you're just really at a place of stability or some of you you know you could be feeling like you're responsible for a lot of things and making some promises and keeping to them so i feel that there's some type of honor here with this king of pentacles okay but i feel a lot of you gemini's there's something about you overcoming any obstacles and staying headstrong because there's something about you guys feeling some type of success okay some type of achievement here and maybe for some of you gemini's maybe for some of you guys you're you know enjoying what you can um with the wonderful things that life um, has to offer um we got taurus virgo capricorn energy coming through so i feel a lot of you taurus might be really focused on really um getting things and especially earthly matters in order and just maintaining or continuing to grow um, I mean, hopefully you want to grow, right? But um, yeah, I feel there's something strong here when it comes to stability and promises. Let's see, what else is Gemini's story? So Gemini, whenever you guys get to the video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Otherwise, you can check your moon, your... Um, rising or venus signs or feel free to check out past messages as well those are all timeless whoa okay there there's something strong here now we do have two masculines so that might be some some of a some type some type of importance for some of you gemini's okay with uh, these two energies they don't necessarily have to be masculine but there's definitely a boss like energy here but what i am seeing is there's something about you guys really um you know, focus on your, you know, finances, your security. There's could be some big businesses or some of you guys, there's something about employees or having a helping hand here, especially when it comes to progress and work. Now, I am also seeing a lot of you Geminis um, figuring something out for yourself. Maybe some of you guys have discovered something or something just really worked out really well. Um, and there's this, again, there's this like focus on work, money, earthly matters right now maybe there's um you know you're being domesticated right now um, now some of you there could be a real focus on <laughs> i'm just really noticing this ring actually which is you know to me it looks like a wedding ring so there's some type of commitment here and we've got the eight of pentacles so yeah i feel there's focus on commitment now some of you guys you could be focused on a partner or a business or just you know, something that is really important to you that you're really um, focus on and keeping um, a strong sense of commitment to that and promise to that. Okay, so let's see. Now, some of you guys have, in a partnership, I can really see this working together here. Okay, what else is Gemini's story? Yeah, I feel some of you Gemini's been feeling a little bit, um, maybe for some you could be, could have been um, dealing with some competitiveness or others feeling, you know, maybe challenged by you or you could have been challenged by others. I do see something about harmony here or for some of you guys, maybe you're just trying to, you know, stay in the middle ground here and not flare anything up and um, figuring something out for yourself, especially when it comes to 
Um, for some of you guys, I'm seeing something magical happening here where you're really like kind of shielding yourself from um, others right now, especially if, it, if it's challenging you and challenging them because we do have this card of strife, conflict, drama, okay? Even competitiveness here. Um, but I feel that a lot of you Geminis are for the most part, well, now some of you guys, maybe some of you guys could be a little bit feeling very challenged by this and out of sorts um, with something or someone here. Um, but I'm just not, not all of you guys. Okay. That's don't take that if it re doesn't resonate for you. But in general, I am seeing this thing about you guys figuring things out right now and also having some type of patience and understanding for the most part. Um, there's something about you guys putting something together here or making something or, or creating something, possibly something new too. Um, what else? Some of you guys, there is this real protective energy too going on. So there could be this real sense of defending, you know, um, or having people defend you for some of you. Let's see. What's this? Archangel Michael. My goodness. I was just talking about defending you too. And Archangel Michael just showed up here in the middle of the reading. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. I mean, we got the King of Pentacles. There's something about you guys understanding something from the past as well. So I feel that there is a real sense of like power right now. I'm getting uh, so excuse, excuse me. Yeah, swords energy. So air sign energy is coming through. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Gemini, I feel a lot of you uh, need to know that you just need to move forward with confidence and believe in your plans or believe in yourself, believe in your successes um, and, you know, maintain, um, you know, a sense of being really proud of yourself, uh, you know, some type of healthy pride here as well. What else for Gemini? Now, okay, not all of you, obviously, okay, not all of you, but there could be something with same sex, um, you know, partnership and, and maybe love for some of you guys. Not all of you, okay, I know that. I just am seeing the two, two kings here. <laughs> just don't worry about it. I'm not, I just felt like I needed to say that for some of you guys, but anyhow, let's see. Judication. I feel that there's something going on here with um, business partnerships. There could be something about decisions, finding or seeking maybe someone to um, overlook things and to make a final decision here. There could be something strong going on with finances or contracts too. Um, some of you guys, you might be having to deal with some legal stuff, okay? Or you, some of you, you're looking for someone to just kind of be a mediator or to um, help you. Um, make some, you know, final decisions or to get the information you need. There could be something here too, where some of you guys, yeah, there may be a win-win solution or you're trying to figure out a win-win solution, or maybe some of you guys, you've had to, um, you know, take on something here uh, to get some type of maybe justice. Uh, what else for Gemini's story? Some of you guys are really destined for great fortune, and I feel there's something about um, communication, information, messages um, that you're receiving, or some of you, there's something that you guys are doing here um, that's causing this like flow of abundance. So I don't know what's happening right now uh, with you, Gemini, but be open to receiving great fortune in your life here, okay? Because there's something, some of you guys, you might have um, opened something up, received something, um, figure something out here. And it's opening you guys up for some type of new abundance in your life. Now, I do see some of you, Gemini, is definitely having the ability to um, your messages somehow create a really good business for you as well. Okay. Or something that you create here for some of you guys. Uh, what else for Gemini? Yeah, I feel a lot of you Geminis are definitely feeling your, your connection with your angels, with God, Jesus, your guides. Let's see. 
Make gratitude your new attitude and all the stars will shine brighter upon you. All in your world we will become lighter. So for some of you guys, you might be in this state, uh, stage of being um, you know, grateful, um, filling your blessings, right? Now some just, just take this as advice right now. It's, it's about gratitude. It changes everything. Okay, your attitude is lining up the stars and it's lining you guys up too. I mean, we've got something about this boss-like energy, right? Wealth, power, authority. What else? Queen of Scrolls, you're, yeah, you guys are in your, um, you guys are in your, uh, Queen of Swords energy right now, and look at this, Nine of Stones, there is something going on about you guys, uh, doing something, um, feeling accomplished, or mastering something, or mastering your craft here as well, some of you guys are artists here, um, we do have the Weaver, so I feel there's something strong happening here with you guys really weaving your dreams into reality, so I'm seeing a lot of you, Gemini is using something as a medium here to start using and utilizing attention and thus is actually creating some uh, something to materialize, okay, because you are focused. And maybe if it's not even about being focused, it's about being in a, in a place of openness, clarity, calmness, okay? Now, some of you, Gemini's you're, you're eliminating distractions, you're elim eliminating negative situations and people as much as possible, okay? Some of you guys, you might be just spending some time by yourself as well, um, getting clarity or channeling messages or channeling something creative, okay? And there is something about you guys really trusting your path. I mean, look at this nine of stones here. So this is a card of accomplishment. It is a card of independence you can move forward now with ease and confidence it's like something was an obstacle or maybe a block here and spirit is letting you guys know just keep staying loyal and true to your path and you guys will succeed okay the path is becoming clear for you so i see a lot of you gemini's actually being quite uh you know you're doing well for yourself for the most part now some of you keep continuing to stay committed to what's working in your life um, and mastering your craft or learning more about it and you will achieve success, okay? I am seeing someone who is single or maybe some of you Geminis, you're wanting to be single or be by yourself, okay, with that nine of stones. Now it could be the opposite because some of you, you're tired of it <laughs> or you're ready for the next thing. You're ready for that 10 of, um, 10 of stones, that 10 of pentacles. You're ready for a larger, more vast um, foundation, security, commitment, whether or not it involves marriage or you know, a strong commitment with you and, and um, your business or something that is very meaningful for you, okay? But there is abundance here. There is material gain and wealth and success. Okay, some of you guys, I do feel there may be some assets or properties or things with money that have to be figured out here, okay? And that's what you guys are doing. Yeah, there's a lot going on, right? Um, let's see, what else is Gemini's story? Now we got the queen of wands. <laughs> There's something strong happening with a lot of you Gemini's with, um, you know, having confidence in your abilities or having confidence in, um, you know, something that you're pursuing that takes passion. It takes um, a sense of warmth. Okay. Now I am seeing a person here too. So there is something about soul, a soulmate here or partnership that could be very significant for some of you Gemini's. Okay. But I feel some of you, Gemini's, you're creating, you're wanting to create something new. There's something new here. And most of you, I feel, have that confidence. Um, and you are overcoming a lot of the past uh, situations and hurts. I do sense some of you guys have gone through some type of separation or divorce uh, for some of you, Gemini's, okay? And there's there may be a sense of still, like, underneath all that, a sense of longing for a partnership or um, a longing of a promising partner. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, maybe some of you guys got really, maybe there was some anger or lashing out or 
for some of you, not all of you, you know, maybe there was challenges here. Um, let's see, what else is Gemini's story? I really feel a lot of you Geminis don't want to be held back in any in, in, in any way, especially when it comes to the things that you really want to do and pursue and experience. Wow, look at that, the judgment. Yeah, there's something going on here with really understanding something or, you know, coming to a sense of reconciliation with the past and making amends with the past. And look at all this, the beautiful colors here with that phoenix. So there's something coming alive within you. And here's this new thing. It's, there's something about you guys really knowing and working with energies right now and understanding something. There's something that at, is at play here, Gemini. So I feel a lot of you Geminis are rising up. Um, some of you guys, you're really feeling more of a, a purpose. You're feeling more of a calling. Some of you, you know, you may be, you know, at a place that could be a little, a little, you know, uncomfortable because we could be dealing with, you know, just choices and consequences and really having to, um, you know, free ourselves by understanding and having compassion and forgiveness, right? And hopefully you guys are. So, you know, some of you, you could be judging yourself a little bit too hard, which could be causing some in, internal conflict here with that five of wands um, and the temperance here. So I feel a lot of you guys, for the most part, are rising up to something new in your life and you're hearing something different. You're feeling something different um, that's wanting to be created here. Some of you guys, um, there could be something with apologies or you know for the most part i'm just seeing you guys really um you know maybe just leaving the past in the past and really having that sense of forgiveness or just having this new awakening within you okay what else yeah knight of pentacles some of you guys are just trying to do what you can to stay organized and stay on the right path um you know, watch out though for some of you, not all of you, and I don't really feel it too, well, maybe a little bit. Um, obsession or some of you, just keep your eyes on your own thing too. You know, there may be something here with um, competition or feeling like, you know, for some, maybe a, if it, especially, especially Gemini, if it kind of makes you question your own abilities, just keep your eyes on yourself and don't worry about others, you know, just keep doing you because there's something about you guys really um, taking the time to assess your situation, to keep moving forward. Um, I'm seeing some of you guys really channeling messages here or, you know, something creative in this journal or book there. Some of you guys are might be figuring something out too when it comes to investments, money, finances, budgeting. Okay. What else? Some of you guys are wanting to take things a little bit slow too, or you're just finding things are um, a little slow. Now we got the king of cups. There's something about someone too here. There is something, some of you guys, it might even only be a matter of time before something really comes to fruition when it when it comes to some type of harmony here, some of you Geminis may actually resonate with Cancer's reading. Um, I'm just getting that so strong. Yeah, I feel a lot of you Geminis, um, it might be a challenge to really stay calm during a, um, a time of maybe changes or, you know, having to, um, you know, figure things out in your environment. You know, there's, there's probably a lot of roles for some of you Geminis that you're finding that you're having to play here. Um, but I do see something here where there may be love and offering here, um, someone of compassion and understanding, but I do see a lot of you Gemini is really being crowned with success for some type of achievement when it comes to really understanding oneself and others. And, um, some of you, you could be getting some type of apology or something for some of you guys there, there could be something where you guys are really trying to really stay in the middle and have things just be fair and even. Okay. But I feel some of you guys are really, um, you know, taking things under control here. Some of you, you're fo you may be even be focused on a person here. Okay. Love, 
business partner, I don't know, but you could be focused on, on this person as well. But I am seeing a lot of you Geminis um, on the road for prosperity actually, okay? So don't give up on your dreams and your visions. There's something strong happening here with you guys, um, you know, having a sense of rebirth or a sense of growth or feeling light. Uh, what else? Yeah, some of you, Gemini, is good. Some of you guys might be getting information about ancestors, family, family roots, uh, past life stuff. What else for Gemini? The King of Cups again. Yeah, shocking change, transformation. You guys, okay. I hope you guys are, for the most part, trying to, because I do feel that there's this real strong sense of having to have control over your emotions right now and being very strong on the inside so that we have that calm clarity. And for the most part, I do see a lot of you Geminis doing this, okay? Some of you guys might be challenged and struggling with this. Just keep continuing to have self-compassion and self-forgiveness because maybe some of you Geminis really need to release judgments about yourself as well. Or, or just just rele releasing being too, you know, critical of yourself or others, um, and allow yourself to just feel something right now because it's all about you guys having um, the sense of self compassion. So I feel a lot of you guys are doing that because there was a shocking change and transformation, and I see a lot of you Gemini's as a very powerful, powerful healer. Okay. Yeah, liberation. Something is liberating you guys too. So I'm, I feel that you guys are sensing this. Maybe it's uncomfortable for some of you guys, or maybe it's really, uh, you know, uh, energizing for some. But regardless, there's something about you guys um, opening up to some type of new foundation for yourself, or maybe a new um, commitment, a new way, a new you. Okay. And I do see something, you know. I do see for some of you Geminis a breakup, a change, a shakeup with an existing person, okay, partner or someone here for some of you guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else for Gemini's story? Courtship. There is something about love here. Some of you guys might even be concerned about courtship in some facet. Either you're wanting it or you're concerned about it or someone, okay? We may have some worries going on, unnecessary worries, but I do feel there's there's love on the mind for some of you guys, or maybe a soulmate on the mind. Some of you guys, you know, whether you're concerned about this or some of you guys are just concerned that are you ever going to get them? Like, because we got that nine of pentacles here. We even have the queen of swords. Okay. What else uh, for Gemini? There may be someone that's very, um, that might be an elder or mature too, uh, that could be, um, that could be an influence as well or helping you. Ah, I just, I really, so Gemini, you guys are really, I love your energy. I, you know, I'm sorry if you guys are going through like, uh, you know, transformations and changes that are, you know, can be very discomforting. I get it. But look at this, commanding attention. <laughs> this is really you guys. I just get this thing about you guys really having this sense of being able to command attention. But it's not in a, um, you know, it's not in an immature way. There's a lot of maturity going on here because we got the kings and the queens here, okay? Um, boldness, engagement. I mean, I'm feeling like this is that queen of wands. I feel something about you guys wanting to go after what you want. Maybe you're, maybe your guys are starting to feel this confidence rising within you to go after who and what you want or create what you want. So some of you guys, you just need to know that there's this like <laughs> rebirth of you really being able to be very bold, wise, okay? There could be something with engagement, marriage for some of you guys, or just a new engagement in life. What else? Ah! I saw the seven of swords. 
oh no, the five of swords. Okay, well, kind of, you know, whatever. They're still kind of <laughs> not both. Either one is not really good. Anyhow, let's see. Five of swords. Hmm. Yeah, we've been, there, there was some <laughs> hurt, wasn't there? There's something about someone. I don't know if it was you, Gemini, or someone. Um, it's like someone accidentally got hurt or, or they just, there was, the, yeah, a big revelation. Some of you, maybe some of you Geminis might be having a hard time because maybe you guys thought you were doing the right thing and ended up hurting yourself um, when we really didn't mean to or you end up hurting someone uh, for some of you guys. But there's some, there, there's this penguin that's saying it's okay, Gemini. Everything is going to be okay. I want a little bit more with this uh, Five of Swords because I do see a lot of conflict. I mean, we have this card of drama. Um, some of you, there is this sense of separation, though. Let's get a little bit more about this Five of Swords for Gemini's story. We got uh, Libra and Aquarius and your sign coming through. Give me a little bit more about this Five of Swords. Yeah, some of you Geminis, you got hurt or you realize something and you you know you know to change directions or there is something that's pushing you guys or whatever had happened. Maybe there was a severing hurt conflicts and it's changed directions or it's ha it's having you change directions. Give us a little bit more with this five of swords. There could be a lady at, at play here too. There's a person. So there's definitely a person here and spirit is saying this, this is a time to give to yourself. And what's really interesting is I always see this lady as the queen of pentacles. Um, if you guys just notice, she's really dressed very nicely here. And, um, you know, we've got the uh, king of pentacles here. So I do feel that there's something going on for some of you guys when it comes to soulmate connection. But I am seeing this thing about you guys uh, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself or some of you guys, you're, you're being guided right now um, to do the honorable thing or to um, prepare yourself, right? Because there may have been experiences here with that Five of Swords where it's just getting you guys ready to prepare yourself to receive something and someone far better, okay? But I do see some of you guys, there may have been a lady at play here, okay? Um, and maybe they could have had red hair, I don't know, light hair, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. What matters is there could have been a lady here, Um that that could have caused some troubles as well for some of you guys uh what else for gemini's story some of you gemini's might be working with someone to male or female that could be a healer or they could just be someone that um is someone that that is offering something here to help um guide or aid you guys out of a situation yeah, look at this. I feel some of you guys are doing what you, yeah, you guys are doing what you can to just kind of feel secure and safe and maybe just <laughs> causing good luck on your side too with the clover here, okay? I feel that there's there's emphasis on quality. There's emphasis on feeling safe and secure. There may be emphasis on really nurturing oneself too, okay, and honoring that. Some of you guys might be feeling a little tired and sleepy because there is some type of transformation an awakening happening here, okay? What else for Gemini's story? Maybe there's a clover. Oh my goodness. See, there is something strong. Look at look at who showed up. Look who showed up, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's there's something about you guys um receiving something that you have been or are preparing for Gemini. So please don't give up on anything because there's something good that is happening here. I'm seeing a lot of you guys really having um, a sense of abundance or something to really show your hard work, your efforts here. Some of you guys, um, <laughs> there's something real, like you've got a spiritual business going on too. Um, but I am seeing this thing about boundaries and feeling this sense of complete with yourself right and feeling very whole here so some of you I don't know why but I am seeing the world card actually in here so I feel a lot of you guys are done experiencing something when it comes to um, feeling very um, I don't know like very stuck or maybe very not I don't know if it's like control 
some of you guys could have had some realization when it comes to attachments and material and material things or people too, because I feel some of you guys are focusing on your own health, um, your own uh, your own boundaries, your own limits. Uh, what else? Some of you guys could be getting some type of financial help as well from a lady. Or, I mean, it could be from the king of, I mean, king or queen, but, you know, could be financial help from someone as well or practical advice when it comes to finances. Yeah, you guys are going to discover something new that's going on here. You really are in a sense of metamorphosis and, you know, that's always going to happen. We're always, as long as you guys are living, it's always going to, you're always going to have these cycles of, you know, growth and rebirth and um, different passages and, you know, really, it's, it really is a beautiful thing, okay? So I feel some of you guys might be facing, well, some of you guys might be actually kind of calm <laughs> because the waters are pretty calm here, but... There may be a destination here or just a knowing. Oh, I just noticed a person there and they're like really proud of themselves over here. So I feel there's something going on where a lot of you, Geminis, you might be really proud of yourselves right now and, you know, feeling good. Um, maybe there is, you know, a slight inkling or yearning going on for something that, that you feel is missing. Um, but some of you guys, yeah, you might be facing some really dark times and that's what it might feel like. You might be facing some really you know, negative aspects about yourself or others, but you really have to have self-compassion and be willing to just learn from that um, and don't get hung up on that, okay? Because you really are uh, destined for some success here. And I just feel there's like a sense of respect with you, okay? Now, some of you, you might actually find yourself, um, maybe you're with someone right now or you, you may be coming into a connection um, where there is some significant wealth with them as well. Okay. Uh, what else is Gemini's story? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are being really too hard on yourselves. You really are. I get it though. But some of you, yeah, you're feeling very like a whip. You're feeling a sense of consequences uh, possibly here, right? Or maybe you're feeling like a sense of punishment. Maybe that's what, it, you know, yeah, we got this whip and that's like we're, we're dealing with consequences or punishment. Now, hopefully some of you guys, are, you're not, you know, being too hard on yourself, okay? Please don't, okay? Please don't be too hard on yourself. Be easy with yourself. What else? But what spirit is wanting you guys to know is it you're you're discovering something about um, these really these what could feel like a burned experience, right? A whip. Balance and act, taking the first step. I feel a lot of you guys are. <laughs> You guys are going through changes, aren't you? Just trying to hang on like, oh my goodness. So that's what I was getting. A lot of you guys have a lot of different roles. <laughs> There's just a lot of different roles that a lot of you guys have to play here. Um, but yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are at a place of, you know, you're ready for expansion. You're ready to experience some new horizons. So some of you guys, you're just right at this place of just at this balancing act um, and taking the first step here. You know, and some of you, you might be feeling a sense of stagnation, um, possibly because we might be feeling a, a little uncomfortable to take that next move, okay? Because there's something about maybe some of you guys just trying to um, figure something out or, you know, you're just being very cautious or you're scared to take that next step here. What else is uh, Gemini's story? But a lot of you, I feel, are just trying to stay flexible and adapt to changes, Okay, compliments, success, gifts. Maybe some of you guys like the nature scene and, and flowers, trees, clovers, being outside is really calling you. Maybe you're starting to really, I feel a lot of you Geminis are in a state of grad, in a state of um, being very grateful and 
Maybe you're noticing um, a lot of beauty around you. Okay, maybe some of you guys are really drawn to flowers. Maybe um, I do see something going on here with a, an admirer or love. You may be receiving gifts and flowers here. Okay. What else? You know what's really beautiful too that I want to say about that bouquet is, you know, each flower is beautiful on their own, right? But they're all unique and you bring them together and look at how beautiful it is. So there's something about things really coming together. I feel a lot of you Geminis are creating and doing things like blending a lot of things and maybe making it your own or it's helping other, you know, helping in some way. But anyways, it's a beautiful thing. Birds, talks, conversations. Yeah, there could be some gossip or some of you guys maybe, you know, quit talking about the past because it could just be triggering more of that. But I do feel that there may be news or gossiping or maybe just information. Maybe there's just all that yakking and chattering. Um, so maybe figure that out for yourself, guys, because Gemini, just see that there's just maybe noises, you know. Um, you know, some, some of you Gemini's birds are very significant here too. Birds are messengers. Some of you guys, there may be something here with, I don't know, I'm getting like something about conversations, gossips, information too. So there may be some, some yakking and talking and stuff. So I would just say, try to avoid that as much as possible. Okay. Um, and I think a lot of you guys pretty much are. What else? Yeah, there may be a lady. There may be a lady around some of you Geminis. That's a, could be a lady or maybe an, even a man. I mean, but maybe that man has got more ma feminine energies. There there's could be a, some lady here for some of you guys that is like possibly just toxic or just talks a lot. Talk, likes, to, likes to talk about people. What else is Gemini's story? Yeah, Gemini, damn. Ten of mirrors. You guys, you guys went through something. Now, for some of you guys, you could have really just ended things, um, bad habits, bad situations, whatever it is, um, to liberate yourself, to free yourself, to give yourself a sense of renewal and new life here. Some of you, yes, this there was some type of ending here um, with this Ten of Mirrors. Oh, wait, excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. You guys did have an ending, okay? There was something that has, sh something had come down here or there was some type of maybe ending of a, uh, of a perspective. So put it in your situation. But what's really weird was I got this like the 10 of swords energy coming through when this is uh, the 10 of mirrors. Okay. Um, there's something about uh, happiness, family. And you remember when I was talking about the nine of stones and getting to that 10 of stones? Well, that's really in sync with this uh, 10 of mirrors here. So there's something about a lot of you Geminis. There's something about connecting with these right um, you know, mirrors here that reflect, you know, this quality about you, because I'm seeing a lot of you Geminis really just rising up and really, um, for a lot of you guys, you know, wanting to, uh, feel the sense of freedom to allow yourself to be really unique. But at the same time, you know, there's a sense of, family and love too. So there's something going on with family situations for uh, some of you Geminis, okay? Now, some of you Geminis, you just need to know that something is being weaved here when it comes to um, the right people, the right connection or connections, okay? And maybe some of you Geminis though with that 10 of mirrors, I'm just seeing some of you guys, you're just really okay with where you're at and you're just having that patience, right? You're just, you're okay. <laughs> You understand these things. You're you're going through it, and but you're you have that attitude of gratitude, and you're moving along. What else? Look at that, the sun. I feel a lot of you guys really are turning things around, or some of you, you're just you know that there's success. You are having things go your way right now. Okay, I um, just notice the sun with the little tear here. So I just feel like those sad days or those hard, hard days are um, coming to an end. The sun is exposing something and it's really helping you guys um, expose yourself here in 
in a good way, right? Being more confident or having success. Um, so maybe some of you guys really having the ability to come out and show what you're made of or show the world what you're made of, okay? Um, I'm seeing happiness here. I'm seeing, you know, focus, focusing on happiness. So I feel like there's something going on for a lot of you Geminis with um, something is, is illuminating you guys, okay? What else? Nope, that's it for those. Let's find out how, oh, excuse me. We're going to, well, you know what? Now that I said that, maybe I do need to get one for you guys. I didn't do it for anybody else, but let's get um, how spirit's helping you right now, Gemini. How is spirit helping Gemini? Yeah. <laughs> Feeling a completion, feeling success. There's something strong about you guys really um, feeling this real sense of accomplishment within yourself and what you guys have learned, what you have transformed. A lot of you, um, you know, I was just getting this thing too. You know, I've got this world here. So um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys destined to do think great things with the world and for the world here. Um, but yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, there's, there's new understanding with yourself. We've got the psyche here and she is just spreading her wings. There's just, there's something about basking in this too. So some of you guys, you're, you're doing what you can to bask in this achievement or limelight. Some of you, you need to just take some time and honor how far you've come. Okay. Uh, because I do feel spirit is helping you guys really get the closures that you need, completing things feeling whole and complete and starting anew when you're ready, but also having the time to like really bask in some success. Okay. Cause I mean, gosh, we've got the sun card there. We even have the 10 of cups here. It's beautiful. All right. Let's find out. Um, uh, let's see what's to come for Gemini. Oh yeah. Gemini. Didn't I say I was getting the world card? I was seeing it right here. Mm-hmm. So I'm also seeing that spirit's helping you guys um, maintain, take care of your energy and your energy field. Cause a lot of you Gemini's are probably finding out that you really need to, um, you know, be a little bit aware of your own sensitivities and your energy, right? Cause some of you, especially those, um, healers and empaths, you know, sometimes you pick up on other people's energies, right? And you're learning how to protect your energy. What's to come for Gemini? The chariot success, maybe a car or something new to drive in for some of you guys, but most importantly, success overcome. Some of you guys have to hear this. You really are going to overcome some, some little or major obstacle, you know, cause it is a general reading, but I am seeing something about you guys overcoming a huge obstacle. Spirit's helping you guys take off in a new direction too. Okay. That's successful for you. Uh, cancer energy is showing up here. And also being the driver, the driver in your own, well, the drive, being the, what, how do I want to say that? Uh, you guys know what I'm saying. Getting into the driver's seat of your own life or something. Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, the acrobat, nice. Page of stones. So what's coming is possibly there could be, um, there could be a knight or a page. It's a new beginning. Some of you guys, a person is coming towards you. They could be very fun and playful, um, very grounded. They could be really um, actually athletic too. They might like, um, they would definitely be into the fitness thing too, or just taking care of, they, they'll just be more self, not all of it, all, all of you guys are going to have this, but there could be something or maybe with you guys, um, you know, a new beginning with health and uh, fitness here. Um, I'm getting messages as well. So what's to come is some type of bit of good luck too. Some of you guys might get some type of unexpected income or maybe, um, you know, you might even get like, you might not have to pay for something for some of you guys. So it might, it'll just help you step, take a step forward. I am seeing you guys learning something too here. Um, that could really take off and be prosperous for you. And also again, there could be a new beginning or partnership or friendship with someone with that uh, page of stones here. Um, let's find out uh, what's the advice for Gemini.
What's the advice for Gemini? The King of Pentacles is showing up three times now. The King of Stones. Yeah, there's... Okay, some of you guys, you know, just stay loyal and, you know, to the things that maybe you um, really know are to be promising for you. Now, some of you guys, there could be a partner or a person here that we may need to pay attention to as well. I mean, we see some something about loyalty. But in general, I am seeing a lot of you guys, you know... <laughs> enjoying things right now maybe some of you guys just need to enjoy things okay um and enjoy someone's company uh there could be something here with um learning an instrument um getting playful uh, maybe spoil yourself a little bit here okay um and maybe for some of you guys the advice is to maybe accept an offer here um, especially those ones that are single or looking for something when it comes to romance now could be a partnership here and maybe a business endeavor or career or something like that but I feel a lot of you guys um, I'm also hearing make a plan and get to it because it's going to be successful make your plans write them down and um, take that first step okay but um, there's something about you you know staying strong with who you guys are I mean it's like three times here we got this whoa Let's get a little bit more about this um, with the King of Stones for the advice. Let's get a little bit more about that. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Some of you guys, I'm hearing that you need to um, spend a little bit more time with the pleasures of life. Okay, these cards flipped over. Should we take any other? Okay, we're taking these. <laughs> Do it now. See, there's something about plans, guys. Do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have the courage and listen to your intuition for it, for it is guiding your, it's the guiding voice of your soul. Look, it's like you guys really are feeling that call or you're feeling something, hearing something. And then we have healing angel. At this very moment, you're being bathed in gold and pink and deep green light. Accept this healing. We are your angels. Are we your angels surround you with the wings of love? You are eternally free. Here you are, eternally free, okay? Eternally fresh and eternally abundant. I mean, there is real abundance here, okay? So when we're feeling abundant on the inside and we're really trusting, it at some point has to manifest on the outside. And a lot of you, Geminis, are like little healing earth angels as well. You need to know that and honor that about yourself, okay? Okay. And look at this, oh, kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself, okay? So what did I say? Some of you guys are really being too hard on yourself, okay? You're, some of you guys are really hung up on mistakes or thinking things are a mistake. Feel yourself, okay, an Archangel Raphael is coming through. So let's see, healing angel here. Feel yourself surrounded by my em emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. Solace. The storm clouds, yes, see, look at that. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun, look at the sun, will shine eternally bright. Trust. Trust. Wow. It's all going to work out for you guys. And for some of you guys, that loyal um, situation with that person that you've been yearning, hello, it's going to happen. You just got to uh, do something now, okay? Because I am getting that more of that two of wands energy. So anyways, Gemini, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, let me get these out here. Yes, okay. Love and light. Take care.